ladies and gentlemen. Silent Mike back with another video. That's when all the fireworks went off and I walk in. Well, well, it's the big show. Step one, three weeks ago, clean. Step two, strip. Step three, paint everything. Choose a paint color, paint everything. Step four, take BS out. So there's piping and nails and metal on the ground. Step five, grind the entire building down with 10 inches. Do the math. 10 inch grinder over 5,600 square foot, most likely 62 to 6,400 square foot, 10 inches. Do the math. Where are my math people? Where are my Excel people? Put it, comment below. How many inches I had to, inch by inch, row by row. And today's step six. We're choosing the die to prep the ground and then we're gonna seal it. So, um, I think we talked about it a little bit. What's so different about your gym and why do you think your style? Look, bro, I'm just trying to make it look nice, right? Most gyms, you'd get a warehouse, you shove a uh, squat rack in there and then people call it a gym. Um, I want this environment not only to be fueled by the people that are in there with good energy and positivity, accepting of everybody, but I want the gym to have a vibe of its own. I want a security camera in the corner to take the gym. And it, you, just with a picture, you can see the vibe. And so what we're trying to do is not put gross black rubber mats all over the gym. We're not trying to paint the place bright red, yellow, or blue like every university gym on the planet. Um, we're trying to give it a little vibe where you come in here like, damn, this place kind of looks dope, right? Like maybe you, I don't know if you guys are into the streetwear scene or anything like that, but first time I stepped into the hundreds in San Francisco, one of their first locations, it, they built it like a dungeon. Like it was like a cave dungeon and like the racks of clothes were like inside of a cave, the whole thing's super dark. There's one tiny desk and like one dude helping. And you walk in and the front door is like an elevator door and there's nothing else. And you're just kind of like, what? There's no sign. And you walk in, you're like, yeah, this place is cool. Like, this doesn't look like, whatever, American Eagle or something where you just shop and everything, every store, American Eagle, uh, Hollister, Macy's, they all look the exact same. So we're trying to differentiate the game a little bit. And so my thought, our thought, the team, me, Kyle, Connie, Jim, uh, is to dye the ground a little bit and get a nice dyed concrete that'll kind of just give you a little base layer flavor of color in the building. The walls are gonna remain mostly gray. We're gonna add accents and things with material. Um, not with loud graffiti or loud logos everywhere. It's gonna be a little bit sleeker. So we're gonna do some accent walls, which will probably be in a week or two of this episode. Stay tuned on how we're gonna do that and differentiate that from the norm. Um, but today, the idea was to get the dye. So shout out to my boys at, I don't know where I was, Spectre Dye or, or Spectre Cement or something out here in Sacramento. Uh, the most helpful dude I've talked to in this entire process, and I've been to Home Depot a hundred times and every other company a hundred times. This dude was super cool, and he's like excited for our project. So he helped us up with these dyes, and basically we got four sample colors um, to try to get the ground going. Now, what's the most expensive, best upgrade you can do? It is an old wives saying. Is an old wives saying? Old wives tale and an old saying? What's the, uh, another thing though? They say, people just say they say, right? They say, they say, Old wives, I don't know why they could be old wives. They could be young, they could be old. Old's not bad either. Old's wonderful, wise wives. That, a nice paint job fixes many things. So we painted the whole thing gray and it looks dope, but we still got this ground, which um, we got quotes and everyone, you know, shout out to the people that were very positive and constructive in last comments, YouTube, bunch of comments. Your guys' support in general has been amazing. And shout out to the idiots out there that talk like I never once contemplated anything you would have said. That your idea on comment on the YouTube has not once been thought up by anyone we've consulted on this project. Not once have I thought maybe I should just lay new cement down or just throw rubber mats down. We've looked into all of it. I've been working, my brain has been working for a year and a half on this project. Kind of been working for 12 years on how to make gyms run better, smoother, look better. Right, I've been in this world a very long time. Evan said it, shout out my boy Evan. Evan said something today. He said, uh, he said, dude, I'm so excited for everything you're doing. It's not like you're starting from scratch either. It's a culmination of all the years of work and relationships you've built. Shout out to Evan. But that's kind of true. And that's not to like tap myself on the back, but like, a lot of times people will be a coach or something for a year or two and they're like, oh, I'm going to open a gym. And I did that in 2010. Someone else wanted me to talk about that, Connor, remind me. We'll talk about my gym in a different video. But all of this is like tons of experience I've gathered, you know, on online businesses, in-person businesses. And so we're, we're trying to piece it together perfectly. 
Um, now, will everything go perfect just to my vision? Probably not. But point is, the ground is really old. It's never been sealed. It's never been finished. It's never been uh, relayed probably since the 60s, right? So we're talking 60-year-old ground. We won't be using the ground. You'll be lifting on platforms and mats. But we just want to give it a little bit of flavor, right? You just sprinkle the Parmesan cheese on top of the salad. You sprinkle the pepper on the steak. You sprinkle hot sauce on your taco, right? This is my taco. You're in my taco. I don't know if you can say that. <laughs> no, you can say that. You can, de you can definitely say that. So the hot sauce, well, Connor showed you the film, he's throwing it over here. So those are the four uh, flavors of my taco. And we're gonna choose which topping we want because sometimes you want a basic street taco and you just want some pico de gallo on top. Sometimes you want the Parmesan cheese and a little bit of lettuce and a little bit of uh, guacamole on your taco. Um, so the dye has to sit for uh, around 24 hours. We're gonna come back tomorrow and see what it looks like uh, because the final product, it, it, it dies into the cement, not on top. That's why we had to grind this whole thing is to get the pores open so it goes in. So the color will look way different tomorrow than it does today. And then we'll make the final decision, uh, which will be in the next episode. So best way to upgrade a place, clean the living crap out of it, paint the walls or paint the ground. We talked about staining the rafters, but actually after we cleaned them, and painting the walls, they really pop and look like a pretty good wood. That's what I wanted. I wanted a nice wood industrial feel. Uh, we showed you guys the, the wood framing me and Connor went to town on. And then Jimbo, who's very handy, is gonna frame these windows to match that. So we're gonna have this real good concrete, cement, cinder block, metal action going on here for the general vibe. Uh, and then once you start to put in some furniture in, you know, on this side, the, 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 the retail store, the desk, and the equipment, I think we're really gonna, you're really gonna get the, the vision um, that's a little bit harder to explain. Paint, I don't know the exact dollars. I know you guys are always in, into the financials. And someone yelled at me like, Mike, you gotta know the financials. Bro, I got every receipt and everything, but when I'm doing a one take video, I can't just tell you to the cent how many dollars I spent. Um, but the die is gonna cost us around a grand, a, a grand a little bit less. Renting the grinding machine was a couple hundred bucks, right? The, all the cleaning supplies, the vacuum, uh, this dust to be gone stuff. I wish they sponsored me, this is the best. This is the best product I've ever used. If you guys need to clean up dust, put this red shit on it and then sweep it up, it's a miracle. So that's the goal for this week. And then after that, I think we start to dig into some details, which will be fun. We're really gonna try to fix the lighting so it feels really alive and vibrant in here. Not only for content, but for when people step in here, they really feel good. Um, the back room's still a work in progress. Jimbo's really attacking that thing and basically rebuilding it. And then the bathrooms, which we've kind of shown you, we'll show you more. They're in really good shape and actually built really well. Multiple showers in both the men's and women's bathroom. But we just gotta repaint and kind of redesign it to make it flow a little bit better and a little bit more functional and warm in there as well. Um, so we are making progress despite what it feels like. As soon as I think we, we seal this ground so the whole thing's not dusty all the time, uh, touch up the paint, we're gonna be really rocking and rolling. Uh, and for not that much money, to be honest, considering it's, it's uh, been, been a bit. So equipment's on the way in, final designs are working on the clothing, so stay tuned on the apparel, 3sb.co, Third Street Barbell, 3RD Street Barbell on Instagram. Be sure to follow me. Uh, I really do appreciate you, man. The, the kind words out there are amazing. Uh, we will be doing a grand, grand opening when the COVID things kind of chill out. Uh, until then, we'll probably trickle and do a soft opening for just, you know, kind of members or the homies. It won't be a big event, but uh, when people can travel and when it's on and popping, we're going to get this place on and popping. So, ladies and gentlemen, again, follow me, Silent Michael 2 ks Instagram. If you guys want some behind the scenes, follow the boys. Connor will throw it up there. Kyle underscore Castro, Connor O'Neill, Instagram. The crew, we are building. We're changing the game. We are respecting tradition, yet evolving the game. One love, y'all. Take care of yourselves. Take care of your loved ones. I'm out of here.